Hi, it's Julala here. I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of the quest for Hullabazoo. I'm not going to give too much away, um, but I'm just going to show you a few bits and pieces. This is the start of the quest. Okay, and you can find this by clicking the start button here on the HUD. Okay, it'll bring up a little map, give it a minute, there we go, and it'll bring you here. It might bring you a little bit further away, like over there somewhere. So just look around and look for Jane, our Animes Jane Goodall, um, and the quest start sign. Okay. Um, as you go around the quest, you'll see these blue spheres um, and they will be useful for you in terms of getting information. OK, so um, the reason we put the, the blue spheres there is because the animus can be a little bit difficult to click on sometimes and doesn't do what it's supposed to. So the blue spheres are the things you click on to get the information. OK, so if you click on here, you'll see that the text comes up in the um, in the local chat. It's not actually in local chat, it's a private message, so only you will see it. Um, and I've actually changed the colour of my object IMs to yellow so that they are a bit more bright. By default, they're sort of brown. Um, and you can change that in your preferences in Firestorm. If you go to colours, object IMs, you can see I've changed mine there to yellow. That might be useful to you. OK, so Jane gives you a little bit of information about the quest, which is essentially to find some captive chimps and free them. OK, she's not sure where they are, so we have to find them first. Um, you can see already that on my HUD, this first button has now become active. OK, um, Jane's told us to go to the village. So if I click on here, give it a moment again, it will bring up a little map and we're going to teleport to the village. And there are some little children here. Let's just let it res. You might receive messages um, from the Ipos Collective as you go around. It's nothing to do with the um, uh, quest at all. It's just because we're on that, those, that group of Sims that are just sending you some information. Okay, so we've all rezzed and the children here are going to give you the clue to where you go next. Okay, I'm not going to run there. I'm going to sh not show you how to get there, but I'm going to go to the next bit. Okay, a bit of clever editing so they don't give too much away. This is the next area, a planting area. And you will see around the place that you can buy extra clues. Um, so if you are struggling to finish a bit and you want to help raise funds for the Jane Goodall Institute you can just click on here and you can buy a clue okay there are two clues here the first one here is to this particular task puzzle here and the second one is uh, to the next task okay so um, as you're making your way around the quest, just be aware that some of the areas on the Sims are residential and people would appreciate you not trampling through their places. Um, most of the quest areas are in areas that are not currently rented. So um, if you could just be respectful to the residents of the Sims, that would be much appreciated. So this is the beekeeper we found here and there are some pink bees flying around which might have something to do with your task here. Again, if you click the uh, blue sphere, then the beekeeper will tell you about the work that uh, the Jane Goodall Institute are doing to help people to um, diversify their, their trades and how part of that is about construction and maintenance of beehives. In our endeavours to find our community leader, uh, we also find on the way a, a billboard here and somebody with a blue sphere again who will explain about the billboard campaigns that the JGI have been involved in, in helping to spread education through some of the areas that they work in um, and raising awareness in, uh, and changing attitudes in the Republic of Congo. We'll find our community leader out in the forest clearing snares. And again, if you click on his blue sphere, he'll tell you about the work that uh, JGI are doing to help support snare removal efforts. He'll give you a task to do. Again, you can 
buy a clue if you want to. Here I'm at the forest hut um, and some of the tasks that you need to do in the quest are about finding things and retrieving things which is what we might need to do here. When we find our coffee farmer he will tell us where the chimps are being held at the research facility and he will also tell us some important information about the guard there and maybe something that we need to do beforehand. Hmm, a mine. I wonder what we'll need to do here. Remember to always go through the blue spheres to find out more information. This must be the said guard we were talking about earlier. Wonder what we need to do for him. Again, use the blue spheres. And there we can make our way into the research facility. Might be some tasks here. Mm, that's an interesting looking door. Might be a clue there. Finally, we'll reach the chimps in cages. There will be chimps in the cages. And we can set them free. And then we'll be invited to go and see Jane at the rehab centre and collect our prizes. When you reach here, you've reached the end of the quest, the rehab centre, and Jane will congratulate you. If you click her blue sphere, she'll tell you about the rehab centre, some information about that. And also this uh, icon down here will activate on your HUD. The, the trophy to show that you can collect your prizes. However, I haven't collected all my icons. So when I click this, it's going to tell me I need to go back and get some. So make sure that you collect every single one on the way, otherwise you won't be able to collect your prizes. And I recommend that you do them in order. Um, I hope you enjoy the quest and I hope you learn something about Jane Goodall Institute and the work that they do. Um, have fun with it.